Welcome everyone out of here and today I'll be showing my first impressions on LEGO Worlds. This game was released on June 1st which was pretty much yesterday or well, almost two, two days ago and yeah let's get started. First let's name a world also universe because why not. And here you can change the galactic coordinates which I'm not really sure why, probably for multiplayer purposes, but you can change them. Which pretty much will bring you the idea how the world's gonna look when you will first spawn. So let's find something that we'll like. Yeah, this looks pretty simple. And yeah, let's get started and just go to world. Yeah, let's get started. Alrighty, now it's loading. It usually takes about five minutes. I mean, five seconds, what the fuck. And here we are. Flying through the sky. <laughs> Boom, we are in our new world. And this is my first time playing the video game, so I'm not really sure what to expect, what to do, but here we are. And let's see what settings we're playing on, just for your purposes. Volume is 5, of course, it's good. Medium quality for terrain. Refresh is 59 Hz. Touch quality is on high. Let's go back. Let's go to FX settings. And that's pretty much it. Let's actually change a couple of things because while recording this, it might be laggy because of fraps. Turn, turn off the bloom. Dev of field, of course. Conclusion and blur. Except, let's go back. There we go, here we are, starting our new world. And as you can see, it looks fucking beautiful. And it seems like it picks up random staff. I'm not really sure what is it for. But I believe as you punch it, you can get a coin, which you can use to purchase certain things. So, to punch it, press a mouse 1 or F, I believe. There we go. It gives us either silver coins or gold coins and yeah, yeah let's move around let's check out the world and there is a horse let's run it nice holy shit that's a fucking car with a gun that's fucking awesome Why is there a gun on the bottom? That's pretty confusing, huh? So let's just drive around, see what we can find. A little camel over here. Wow, car quality or physics, I would say. It's pretty fucking shitty. But you know, the game is an alpha. It's been only one day since it got released, so... It's pretty decent. And trust me, this game on the highest quality is fucking awesome. Oh, King. Okay. Let's get this guy. Nice. Let's kill this motherfucker. Yeah. There we go. And I believe every time you kill someone, you can change your skin to whatever you killed. Let's go to here, I believe. And here you can see a skin. We bought it, and let's change it. Awesome, it's beautiful. And now I'm a fucking king, you bitches. Let's go to the castle and check it out. What the fuck? Alrighty, seems like something happened to his castle, that's for sure. And there is a... Ooh. Let's see. I opened it from the bottom. That's awesome. That's what I like about fucking alpha or better games. And then gave me. What the fuck did he give me? Let's go back to our pretty much main menu. It's here and it's. Oh, I got an apple. That I can throw. What the fuck? That's random, huh? But anyway, let's get on our car again. And drive around for a little bit. Let's 
And the thing about this game, it is like a Minecraft, but... Dude. What the fuck? What up, bitch? Anyway, the thing about this game is that it regenerates the world in a random thing, whatever it's called. But the world just looks fabulous. There's a winter, summer, there's a voice in type, and it just looks beautiful. And there are a couple of vehicles in this game. There's cars, helicopters, planes, whatever the fuck you want. Not really, but you know. It's still pretty good in amount, and... The thing right now is you can only play in a single player. At least that's what I learned. Let's meet this person, or NPC I would say. Come on, hello. You fucking twat. Yeah. Come on. How do you like this? Do I have unlimited fucking apples? Anyway, let's ride a camel. Oops, sorry. Nice. So the thing about this game right now at least is that you can build pretty much anything you want using a Lego. And at the same time, you can kill everyone, change the skin, get the coins, and shit like that. So let's try to build something. And let's stop for a second by riding a fucking camel, but yeah, I'll get started. So to build, I believe we go to models, to build a house, as we go to brick builds, and here's much a list of everything you can build. And the thing about this building procedure is that uh, you don't really need any blocks that you do in Minecraft. And it does much just for you, so just find it. you have to find a location where you have want to build. You can turn it around. Let's say we want to. What's the interest? Want to build here. And now we'll do it all for me. And she just much drops Legos everywhere just for you. It's pretty cool. I wish Minecraft had the same uh, concept. Which one just takes seconds. Let's go back and explore. Excuse me, sir. And this is our first house, which is already pre made, as you can see. And yeah, that's uh, some sort of a living room. I'm not really sure what the fuck that is. And let's go to the second floor. This apple thing is fucking weird, but, you know, it's Lego. And pretty much that's about it. There's a uh, the whole list of building you can build. Okay, let's go back. Actually, I think this is... No, I'll show it later. Okay, let's try to build something else. Some other house or structure. Spooky tree, um, yeah, why not? Just build it somewhere here. We started, there is for us. Wow, that was fucking awesome. That was great. And let's build something else. I believe one of the houses have car. Which is, let me see, this is the one I think I just built it right now, or this one. Cottage Duo 2, oh fuck, let's just build castle, I want a castle. Let's build, build it on the water maybe, eh, we'll build it here. Here you are, building a castle. Which kind of makes the game a little bit laggy while we do this sale because you can see how many blocks are just being transferred from one to another place.
Wow, it takes forever. But I can tell this can look good already. It does look good already. Alrighty, and there is our castle. Let's check it out. Oh, fucking skeleton. Come here, motherfucker. Alrighty, um... What the fuck, how do we get in? Who's a skeleton? Alright. Oh, he's in jail. Nice. Well, let's go outside and explore something more. Not really sure how to go on the second floor. What the hell? I think I'm lost. The controls are kind of weird too, because they're just... What the fuck? Here we go. That was weird. Come on. Oh my god. Fucking Spider-Man. Anyway, now you see that you can build pretty much whatever you want, which is originally in a system that will pretty much let you to build. So this bitch should look like. There you go. Oh man. Oh wow, is it like Egypt stuff? Wow, it looks beautiful. Can we enter that? Enter from the front? Not really, but... This looks pretty cool. As you can see, there is just a... Fucking lots of different terrains, different stuff already... Pre-made NPCs, animals and all that, which is freaking cool. Who is that? Okay. Anyway, let's stop right here and show what this menu on top left corner does and what we can build with this. First, well, no coins anymore. Here, I believe you can change if you want a hat or not. You can change, I think it's random. Okay. And who you want to be? You want to be have a hat, cape, legs, hips. So this is pretty much just a character customization. We're gonna go back and uh, from tools, as you can see, I think you can paint pretty much anything you want. And we're gonna say paint sand to green. It's pretty much cool. It's just gonna make you. Uh, I would say grass looking. Then there is a crusher shape. Not really sure what's that. Oh, it just makes it either square or circly. Then there's a run of colors. Alrighty, let's go back. There's add terrain. Oh, nice. Add some square stuff. Okay, let's go back, um, remove terrain, let's make it flatter, okay, now we see what it all does, let's go back to split it, okay, kind of looks weird, lower terrain, raise terrain, okay, and ray shape. Oh, to make a pyramid look inside. Okay, go back. Let's and there's selecting sport. Not really sure what that is. That's weird, we're gonna quit that and let's go to brick building. 
Can rotate the build, break, then you can pretty much place any brick you want, anywhere you want. You can, holy fuck, that's a lot. You can change the color of a brick, you can paint it, you can adjust where it is or how high it is, or whatever. Then there is uh, models where you can change how you look. So we can be a skeleton, for example. Then there is you can spawn the uh, the animals you found yourself in game, but it will cost you some money or coins. Then you can spawn a vehicle. Then, as we showed you before, you can pretty much build any any shit you want. Let's go back here. There is sets. Oh, uh, there is a whole set of a house, I believe. Let's build it and see how it looks like. Oh, wow. That's like a whole freaking city <laughs> with two pedestrians or two people. Nice. One more in a car. Alrighty, and let's see what else. And there is props which you can use to build, but you also need uh, coins for that to build it. Let's go to the next step. Next step is uh oh, we'll be here already. Go back, and that's pretty much it. That's um, how the game looks so far. It's been only a day, a day and a half since it got released. You can do a lot of things and I'm really excited to try it more, to learn more and so far I think the game is great it, I it used to enjoy Minecraft before but LEGO is definitely freaking awesome, the graphics is beautiful especially on the highest quality what the fuck motherfucker anyway the graphics is pretty good physics is good, you can do so much stuff and it just looks beautiful and thank you for watching for first expressions. Um, I'll upload more videos this week, hopefully. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.